My name is Joe LeBay and thank you for viewing this video in the RatchetX video series. Today we're going to look at using RatchetX RPA and a couple of partner products for end-to-end -end invoice processing. The partner products used in this demo are Artsil's Doc Alpha and Laserfish's DMS. This demo is actually three demos in one. The first demonstrates an attended bot, which is a bot that runs on the user's desktop and executes under the direction of the user, with automations initiated via our magic button. The second demonstrates unattended bots, which are bots that usually run more batch-oriented jobs, with one or more bots running on dedicated virtual machines. This category would also include chatbots. The third is a combination of the two, or what we call a hybrid bot. A hybrid bot is the scenario where an automation is initiated by the user on his or her desktop, but then passes control to one or more unattended bots to complete the task, thus freeing up the user's desktop. In each demo, the use case is the same. I have some scanned images that need to get entered into my QuickBooks accounting system. Processing the invoice includes matching the invoice to the purchase order that authorized the invoice. Let's look at the first use case where I'll demonstrate how an attended bot can be executed on my local desktop to get an invoice's data into QuickBooks. I'll start the demo in the document management system. In this case, I'm using the Laserfish DMS. When I click on the vendor invoices folder, I'm presented with seven invoices that have been scanned and indexed into Laserfish and now need to be entered into QuickBooks. When I open the first invoice for Castaway LLP in the Laserfish viewer, Note the RatchetX attended bot detects I've opened an invoice and has rendered the RatchetX magic button in the Laserfish viewer's title bar. Remember, the Laserfish viewer application has not been altered in any way to display this button. Rather, the bot has done this on its own. Since RatchetX integrates with applications unintrusively, Laserfish is totally unaware that the button is being rendered within its application's user interface. When I click the magic button, the bot presents me with two options. In this first demo, I'm going to have the invoice entered into QuickBooks right here on my desktop, so I'll select Add Invoice on my machine. When I do, the bot extracts the index information from the Laserfish screen, loads QuickBooks, finds the matching purchase order, and if found, enters the invoice as a bill. When done, I can switch back to the Laserfish application, select the next invoice, and do the process again. This is great. Faster and more accurate data entry, a real productivity booster. However, what if I had 100 or 1,000 invoices that needed to be added? Do I really want to load each invoice and click the magic button all those times? Of course not. What makes more sense is to export the invoice data in batch and hand the data entry off to a group of unattended bots. Let's take a look at that example. Rather than starting in Laserfish and opening each invoice, I'm going to copy those seven invoices we saw in the prior demo and drop them into a hot folder. Once there, they'll be picked up by Artsil's Doc Alpha and processed. To check the status of this batch, let's open Doc Alpha's monitoring module. When I do, I can see that a new batch has been created that contains the seven invoices. The invoices are ingested by Doc Alpha, where they're OCR'd, categorized, and then presented to me for verification. Verification is the process by which I check to make sure everything was extracted properly. To do the verification, I have to load Doc Alpha's character verification station. When I do, I request the batch that was just processed and invoke the verification wizard. The verification wizard will walk me through the recognition results, drawing my attention to items that did not meet or exceed certain OCR confidence threshold levels. To learn more about the myriad ways Doc Alpha can be configured to improve categorization recognition results, give me a call and I'll be happy to make an introduction to the good folks at Artsil. Once the wizard starts, I'm presented with each instance where the recognition results are suspect. Let me quickly verify the OCR results. When all items have been verified, I then release the batch for export to four Cloud RPA bots that are running instances of QuickBooks on VMs elsewhere on my network. 
After Doc Alpha releases the seven processed invoices, they're then picked up by four RatchetX Cloud RPA bots waiting to do the data entry. To see the data entry happen on those bots, let's pull up the Cloud RPA bot multi-viewer. Once the batch is picked up, the invoices contained within are parceled out into seven individual jobs and doled out to the waiting bots. As you can see, once the jobs are assigned, the bots wake up and process the invoices in the same fashion as we saw the attended bot process the castaway invoice on my local workstation. The difference is that we are processing four invoices at a time. Now, if I wanted to, I could have spun up seven bots and had all the invoices entered simultaneously. Spinning up more bots as needed to accommodate workloads is how Cloud RPA scales. Finally, I'll now demo a hybrid bot. In this case, let's go back to the Crossroads equipment invoice I left open in LaserFeed from the first demo and click the magic button. This time, I'll select the automation Add Invoice in Cloud RPA. When I click this, the invoice data will be extracted from the screen, but rather than having the data entered on my local workstation, the request will be routed to a waiting bot that will in turn perform the data entry. So let's start the automation and see what happens. In this case, the data is extracted from my local instance of LaserFish. However, data entry into QuickBooks will not be performed locally, but rather on a waiting remote bot. Let's quickly load the bot multi-viewer. Once there, we'll see one of the bots wakes up and processes the request, thus freeing up my workstation so I can work on other things. That's pretty cool. I think you get the idea at this point. RatchetX RPA allows you to deploy any combination of attended, unattended, and hybrid bots to accommodate your organization's specific requirements. If you're interested in diving deeper into the details of Cloud RPA's enterprise-level features, feel free to check out some of the other videos in our video series or give us a call and schedule a detailed demo. I hope this brief demo has clearly conveyed the power your organization can tap into by deploying RatchetX RPA. If you have any questions or comments, give us a call. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you for your time, and I look forward to speaking with you soon.